Now, because we want to receive the information in a specific way, I'm going to show you how I'm going to sort all the information. We're going to store results in a local array called array. It is likely it will have duplicate entries, which are not really needed for our purpose, so we're going to take care of that first. Using action array process, we can remove duplicates from our array. It won't delete the array variables, however, it will get rid of the contents, so we have to now remove the variables itself. We're going to use process array squash command. This way, we're going to have a really nice and clear array for the further processing. Next, we want to take each position from the array and store it in a single variable joined by enter. We're going to use command or action variable join. This will assure that our information is stored in a single variable called array. However, we're going to keep the same formatting of our variable. Now, since we've got this information available, we're going to store it in another variable and I'm just going to call it cells approved. As local arrays and variables, they will clear themselves automatically. We don't really have to do anything once the task list is done. And this variable will be needed for us to establish the zones when we want to use Wi-Fi. Okay, back to the task now. So, as previously, the first thing we're going to do is go to the next action to escape the loop that we've created. I'm just going to call it label right and create the label in a second. We want to escape this we want to escape this loop when our variable is equals 7 and then put it just before our end of the loop from the position 5. This way, when our index value is at 7, the task list will jump automatically to the label called write. So let's create it. It's going to be array process and we will remove duplicates. Once the task is set, don't forget to set the label for it and we used write. As previously stated, we're going to process array again and this time we're going to choose squash to get rid of the empty results. Once we have the array without any gaps, we're just going to join it in a variable called array using function variable join. You have to remember, as our joiner, we're going to use enter. It's not visible on here, however, make sure you've used an enter there. And our last action will be creating new variable that will contain all the approved cells for our profile. Because we want to add results from different scanning, don't forget to add append and enter an enter space in front of the array because of the formatting. That prepared variable, now it's ready to be used in our profile. I'm going to quickly disable our wait time and show you how this is gonna work and how it's going to be presented to you. Each time the scan will occur, you'll receive results. These results will be later stored all together, no matter how many times you're going to perform this scan. That way, you can add cells approved from multiple locations and each time you are there, your Wi-Fi will be on. So let's create this profile. We're going to use another state cell new profile and this time, instead of scanning, we're going to use the variable cell approved. Once this is done, we're just going to create a task that will enable our Wi-Fi. As you can see, initially, I was quite tempted to add one of the tasks I've created before. However, later on, I found out that uh, it's not the greatest solution. What we have to do is uh, make sure our variable won't change, otherwise the profile won't work. But before we're going to fix this, let's set up our button. When we press it, we want to recall the task we've created. And once this um, task is completed, we want to destroy the button. You can also put some wait information if you want to display on screen way this, whence the scan has been completed, but this is pretty much up to you and your preference. I'm going to leave it as it is. Right now I'm just going to add a short 
uh, flash alert just to make sure that everything works and I could have some kind of feedback that the device is looking for new networks. After checking some information on the profile, I figure out that if I'm going to use a same task that enables Wi-Fi when I'm in a home area, one of the variables will be changed when I don't need it to. So I'm just going to simply clone it, remove one entry and rename it to something else. In this case, we don't want our variable outdoor to be changed to zero, as this would block our button from being enabled. And once you update your profile with a newly created task, you're pretty much ready to go. So you should know right now how to enable home profile without too much of a headache. Like the video if you found it useful, leave me a comment below if you've got something to say or you've got any questions, and if you subscribed already, I'll see you in the next tutorial. Until then, happy tasking. Bye!